It's the problem solver. Listen, listen. You know what? All these problems that you've been going through, you need to forget about. You need to just lean them over to Jesus right now and say, God, I can't take care of this stuff. But I know you can. That's what you need to do right now. You just tell the Lord right now, God, I can't take care of this. I can't do it. And it don't matter if they call you no Jesus freak. I'm a Jesus freak too. I'm here to tell you from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I love the Lord and I don't care who knows it. I'm here to tell you right now. God has begun to give me a boldness that I'm telling you right now, Sister Juanita, I've been deep for a long time and God has given to me. And I'm here to tell you, I'm not ashamed of nothing. When it comes to the Lord, I'm glad to know that I'm serving a God. Sister Elizabeth, I love walking these pews. You know why? Because people think, well, he's crazy as he be. But let me tell you, I am crazy. You know why I'm crazy? Because God bought me with a price a long time ago. Do you hear what I'm talking about? I've been bought. I was purchased with blood.
on heaven. Why? Because you've got too much of everything else going on. When what you need to do is give it all to God. Give it every bit to God. And say, God, you are greater. Because why? The Bible said, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world.
and the Holy Ghost begin to deal with her. Why? Because her heart was hurting. Because she knew that the Savior died. He died that she could have life. And Mary Lou, I'm telling you right now, and God died. He, Jesus died upon the cross that you could have this life, that He could have it more abundantly. Not just that you could live, but that you could live abundantly. I tell you right now, I might not have a lot of worldly riches, and I sure don't have fame, but I've got riches in the Holy Ghost. I've got riches in the Holy Ghost. I live abundantly. I'm down to one income, but praise God, I still live abundantly. And listen, I ain't talking about my income because God's my income. He is my income. I wish this lady would have stayed. I really wish she would have stayed, but I pray that God. Let her hear just enough. Just enough. Oh, I'm telling you. Selling out. Selling out. Is this going to take you something? The devil has wanted you to sell out so many times. The devil has tried to beat you up. He has been jumped quite a bit. But you know what? You are still standing. I want you to stand up for me. I'm not to try to embarrass nobody, church. I'm not here to embarrass. I'm here to obey God. But I'm here to tell you, this lady right here, I believe she felt something here last week that she had not felt in a long time. But I'm here to tell you there's more to come. Do you hear what I'm saying? There is more to come. I'm telling you right now, there is so much more to come. I'm telling you right now, Sister Rachel, I want you to come here. Right now, I tell you, I feel the Holy Ghost. God is a good God. And God has just begun to let us feel some anointing. I'm telling you right now, Sister Rachel, I want you to lay your hands right here on top of hers. And I want you to feel what I feel. Oh, my God. God is in this house. He's in this house. That's right, sister. You praise him right now. And I'm going to tell you right now, when you begin to praise, everybody else is going to praise with you. God is raising her up. Obey God right now. I want you to stand up too. People say, Lord, why is he making her stand up? I'm going to tell you why I'm going to make her stand up. I'm going to make her stand up because thus said the Spirit of God. And I'm going to tell y'all something right now. You don't know what I know, but I know what I know, and she knows what I know. And I'm going to tell you right now to raise up your hands. She said, I want you to literally, I want you to just close your eyes. And I want you to go back to that place, that place where the little lady was just praying. I want you to go back to that place where there was safety in the arms of Jesus. And I'm telling you right now that those safe arms, they're still about you. The devil's been trying to tell you huh, that you ain't going to get no better. Huh? The devil's been trying to play heyday with your mind. Huh? But I got news for the devil. Huh? You ain't selling out. Huh? You been bought huh, with a price. Huh? Oh, my God. Oh, huh? without price. Huh? We've been bought already. Huh? The price has already been paid. Huh? And Pam, I want you to stand 